Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing very well and is firmly settled into the new year. I have to say it definitely takes me a good few weeks to get settled into a new year. So I don't want to put pressure on myself. I feel like I have to post a video, but I'm coming to you with my first video of 2024 with just a bookish video. I go book shopping because I got some vouchers for Christmas, so I take you there. As well as that, I got some other books for Christmas, which I want to talk to you about. Um, also, I want to pick my February TBR. I really just can't decide what I want to read, so I'm thinking I might pick one or two, and then the rest I might just do like a random generator because I think that's always really fun. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I have some books here which I want to talk to you about. They are down here beside me. Um, and I guess, first of all, I'll talk you through the books that I got for Christmas because there are some really good ones in there that I am really excited to read. So in terms of presents, I got two books which I asked for because I've been wanting to read them for so long and I don't know why, I just never picked them up and I don't know why because I really want to read them. And the first one is I Who Have Never Known Men by Jacqueline Hartman. And I've heard so many people talk about this book and people seem to love it. And it's been out for a good few years now, I think, um, because I've been, I've heard a lot of people talk about this over the years now. And it just sounds up my street. It's about 39 women who are imprisoned, I think in an underground cage. They don't really know how they got there. They don't really remember life before this cage. And then I think one day they get released. And I think it's about them sort of, navigating and living in the everyday life and how that goes for them with not really having much prior experience of it or prior memory. And I just am so intrigued to hear how they go from living in this underground prison to sort of navigating um, the real world and how they experience that for the first time, their thoughts on it. So I'm really excited to read this one. And this might be one of my February reads because it's only a short one and yeah, really want to get to this one. And then the next one is Ursi, the first four books by Ursula Le Guin. I really want to read more from Ursula Le Guin. I've read one from, I've read one book from her before, which was The Left Hand of Darkness. And I, the thing is, I really liked it, but I just felt like I didn't give it enough of a chance. I kept picking it up and putting it down. I feel like you need to sit with it and really take it all in. She is so good at setting a scene and setting a mood in a book. So I just feel like I didn't give that first book just enough of a chance. So I really want to read some more from her. And um, people seem to love this. So yeah, this is the first four books. I don't know if there's more after this, but I think this is the main sort of set of them. So I'm really excited to get to this one and I hope I love it. And I do believe, is this YA? I have a feeling it's YA, which is unusual for me. I don't normally read that. So really intrigued but really excited. So they are the two books that I got as presents but then I also got a voucher so I went book shopping which I just love. I had a day off on a Monday so it was nice and quiet so I got a few clips. I was really embarrassed because I was by myself so I only got a couple but I will insert them here of me book shopping. When I was there, I picked up four books. Um, all of these books I've heard great things about, so I saw them and just thought, I'm gonna get those. First one being the one that I'm reading right now, and oh my gosh, I am loving it. And it's Murakami's Kafka on the Shore. And I have read a couple books from Murakami. I read The Wind Up Bird Chronicle, and I read Killing Commandatore. And is that it? When I first read The Wind Up Bird Chronicle, I was blown away. I was like, oh, and I've read Norwegian Wood. But when I first read The Wind Up Burr Chronicle, I was blown away. Like, I was like, this is amazing. I've never read, I've never read anything like this before. This is like, wow, so good. And then I read, and then I read Killing Commandatore and Norwegian Wood. And I just wasn't overly enamoured with it. I mean, I think that's controversial to say because people love Norwegian Wood, but I just wasn't, I wasn't jealous. So I was like, oh my gosh, I thought I loved Murakami and now like I'm not so sure anymore but I remember someone in the comments actually told me to read this one because it was his best and oh my gosh I am loving it and it's the same feeling that I got 
as when I first read the Why Not Burr Chronicle. It's just the way he writes is just so stylish and cool like and the way he like subtly integrates magical realism into stories there's just nothing like it it's so good i'm about halfway through um so i'll let you know how i get on with it and how i enjoy it at the end but so far it's so good i mean there are some like really gruesome bits which i was like oh i hated reading but yeah just amazing i'm so glad i got it thank you to whoever commented and told me to get it because yeah amazing love it um, and then I also got Eileen by Atasha Mushafeg and I also bought my Year of Re Rest and Relaxation by her but I am yet to read it because I have a feeling that I'm not going to enjoy it. I know it's set around like a mentally unstable woman and I remember someone sort of described it to me once like hysterical woman main character and I just don't know if I'm into that. So I haven't read it yet, but do let me know if I should because it is on the bookshelf and so I may as well read it. But people say that this one is even better. When I was buying this, the man at the tails said this was his favourite book by her. So yeah, and I believe this is a film as well. So if I enjoy it, then I will definitely um, give that a watch. But also the cover is giving big winter vibes. So I mean, it's absolutely freezing at the minute. So I feel like this could be a good vibe i believe it's about a woman who works in a prison so it's about a woman called eileen who is a secretary in a prison um i think she's quite an ordinary life living with her unwell father um but then when the beautiful charismatic rebecca saint john arrives on the scene eileen is enchanted but soon eileen's affection for rebecca will put but soon eileen's affection for rebecca will pull her into a crime that far surpasses even her own wild imagination so that sounds kind of fun, kind of mysterious, a bit dark. Um, so this sounds more up my street than the other book. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a go and hope they like it because people do seem to love her writing. So I do really wanna give her a chance. And then the next book I got is Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. And again, I've heard so many good things about this. I remember this was on Dua Lipa's um, book rec when I went to Hay Festival last year and I picked it up and for some reason I didn't purchase. So I saw it and I thought I'm gonna give that one a go because people seem to love it. People think it's a really beautiful story. I'll read you the blurb so you know what it's about. It says, teenage Sunja, the adored daughter of a crippled fisherman, falls for a wealthy Yakuza. He promises her the world, but when she discovers she is pregnant and that her lover is married, she refuses to be bought. Facing ruin, she accepts an offer of marriage from a gentle minister passing through on his way to Japan. Following a man she barely knows to a hostile country where she has no friends, Sunja will be forced to make some difficult choices. Her decisions will echo through the decades. And this says it spans nearly a hundred years of history and I just love a saga so much. That's why I love John Steinbeck's books so much and his sagas. So I'm hoping I love this one. Um, yeah, really excited about this one actually. Then I have this one, um, A Fine Balance. And I remember I saw someone read this and said it was heartbreaking, but so beautiful. And then also reading some of the reviews on the back, it says like, this is a work of genius. I cannot begin to review it without saying so. It should be read by everyone who loves books, win every prize, make its author a millionaire. And I felt like the reviews were just so glowing. And also from the person that I saw who read it, I thought I'm gonna give that a go. It's about, um, it's set in mid 1970s in India. And it tells the story of four unlikely people whose lives come together during a time of political turmoil soon after the government declares a state of internal emergency. Through the days of bleakness and hope, their circumstances and their fates become inextricably linked in ways no one could have foreseen. Um, so yeah, really intrigued with this one. It's quite a hefty one, but yeah, people say it's yeah heartbreaking but beautiful and the reviews just really sold me on it. So if anyone has read this book, please do tell me because I really want to hear more from it. Um, yeah, really excited. So they are all the books that I got for Christmas. So I've put those all on my TBR list, obviously, but I have some more books that I really want to get to. So this is why I'm a bit like, I don't know which books to pick for my February TBR. I'll just quickly show you the ones that I want to read as well. I've got The Parable of the Sower by Octavia Butler. I really want to read an Octavia Butler book. So this is why it's on my TBR list. In the same vein, I've got Nights at the Circus by Angela Carter. I really want to read an Angela Carter book. I've not read 
Anything by Octavia and Anything by Angela. So I really want to read one of their books. Um, so this is why they're both on the TBR list. And then I've also got um, Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood. This book was on my like rest of year TBR that I did in November, I think. It was extremely ambitious. I did a few of the books, but but definitely not all of them. Um, and I really love Margaret Atwood. So I feel this would be a really good book to like, do towards the beginning of the year because it just get me in the mood. I feel like I always love her books. I always like, I'm always just so like into them and I can't stop reading them. So yeah, that's my TBR. And then also this book is on my TBR, um, Victory City by Salman Rushdie. I got this one last year at Hay Festival when I went to a talk about Salman Rushdie and it sounded really great. It has um, some magical realism in it and I really want to be reading some more books centered around magical realism. One, because I just read Murakami again and maybe realize how much I love it. And also two, if you don't know, I want to write a story this year that is my goal to finish my first draft. I'm well underway and I want to include some magical realism in it. So I think it's a really good idea to like read books surrounded by what I want to include in my book. So yeah, really want to get to that one. Um, is there any more that I want to read? Um, I've also, I'm not going to take them out, but I've also got um, Sutri Here by Cormac McCarthy that I would like to get to as well, Americana by Don DeLillo I'd love to get to. I read White Noise by Don DeLillo um, in December and I just love his writing style. He writes so simply, but just like, he just nails every sentence, but he does it in such an effortless way or it feels effortless at least. So I really want to just study his writing a bit more because I really love it. Um, and then I also want to read, um, can you see it here, Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. That's also on my list just because I read um, American Gods last year and absolutely loved it. And I've not read any Neil Gaiman since. Um, so I'd love to read some more from him. So they are all the books I have in mind um, for my February TBR. I mean, I know I can do other months too. So there's no big deal if I don't get to them this month. So I think I really want to read... I hope I've known men. Um, so I'm definitely going to have that on my TBR, I think. Um, and then I like to pick around four books to read in a month. That's generally how many I get to, um, depending on how thick they are. So I think for the rest, I'm going to do a random generator. I like someone else picking for me in a way because I want to read them all. So I just literally cannot pick. So I wrote them all down on my iPad and I'm going to do a random generator to see which books we're going to read in February. Like I said, I have this one, but I'm going to pick three more to read in February. I think it's so fun to have books picked for me. I mean, I would be happy with any of them, to be honest. So let's go. So I've got between one and 11. Let's generate. Oh, we've got... 11. Okay, so now I'm just gonna count down to my list and see what was the number 11. Okay, we have Victory City by Salman Rushdie. So this is Salman Rushdie's uh, most recent book. Uh, I have read Midnight's Children, so I've been intrigued to see how they compare. Um, it's quite a long blurb, so I won't read you all of it, but I'll just give you a bit of the top. It just says it's the epic tale of a woman who breathes a fantastical empire into existence, only to be consumed by it over the centuries. I think the main character in this book, the woman, um, lives for like hundreds and hundreds of years and sees how this like place develops, I think. So yeah, really excited for this one. It's been ages, it's been ages since I've read Salman Rushdie, so intrigued by this. Let's do another random generator. So on five let's have a look what number five is we've got one two three four five okay that's fun we have pachinko which i am so excited to read um i'm really happy with this one i think it's going to be like one of my favorites of the year i've got very high expectations for it it is a hefty one though that's for sure so we'll see how we get on i'm going to do one more book but i might not get to it but let's do it anyway um our last randomly generated book is number 10, which is, I'm excited about this one. That is Americana by Don DeLillo. I'm really excited about this. Like I said, I love his writing style. I really want to study it a bit more. Um, and this book sounds really fun. So I will read you the blurb. It says, David Bell embodies the American dream. 
He's 28, has survived office coups, scandals, and beaten lesser rivals to become an extremely successful TV exec. The images that flicker across America's screens, the fantasies that enthrall viewers, they are of his making. But David's dream is turning sour, nightmarish. He wants reality to touch, feel, and record what is real. He takes a camera and journeys across America in a mad roving quest to discover and capture some sense of his own and his country's past, present, and future. How fun does that sound? I love the sound of that. And that, I feel like that story paired with Don Delilah's writing is gonna be a great time. So I'm very excited. I actually might get to this one first. But who knows? We'll see. I hope you enjoy this bookish video. I'm very excited about all my new books. Um, and if you notice, I've got this new bookshelf, which is very exciting. Um, we're building shelves above this too, kind of like a proper wall of books. So I cannot wait. I'll show you once I'm finished. Um, but yeah, happy new year, everyone. I hope everyone's settling into January well. Um, and I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.